Hello watch fans, this is Anders here on Time and Crown channel. Today a little tutorial, but also a video just about how cool you can actually make one of your dive watches if you change the bezel insert. In this case it is my Glycine Combat Sub. This is in my opinion one of the very best value options you can find on the market if you want a very affordable Swiss made automatic dive watch. This is a very old Swiss brand. They are around 300 US dollars. If you just look around on eBay and web shops and places like that, you will be able to find them at really nice prices. This one I did review. If you want to see the full review of this 42 mm automatic Swiss dive watch, you can click the link down in the description or up in the right hand corner to get more information about this watch. But I really wanted to kind of spice up my Glycine Combat Sub with a new ceramic bezel insert. It's not the easiest watch to find these aftermarket bezel inserts for, but actually no one watches, they are selling these inserts here. I have no affiliation. I bought this bezel insert for 70 US dollars. They come in red, blue, green. So I opted for a green one, which I think will look very cool with the black dial here on my glycine. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we actually change the bezel on the watch, it is very easy, but you just have to be patient when you do it. I also want to put on a new strap. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. It is a big help. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and please do also give this video a thumbs up. Thanks a lot. So let's have a look at the different tools. You need a, a knife or something like a knife. I got my Swiss army knife. You need a tool like this. This is a bezel removal tool. You can also use a knife if you want, but this is definitely something that's much better and they are super cheap on eBay. Then of course, for removing the strap later, a uh, additional strap. This is from a DIY watch club. This is a, a strap from one, one of their watches. So let's just start. Of course, you want to remove the strap in this case, the nasal strap, and here we have the naked watch. It is an aluminum bezel insert on these watches. So now you want to remove the bezel. You have the bezel, which is the steel part here, and then you have the applied bezel insert. So it's not one solid part. You want to remove the bezel and then remove the bezel insert afterwards. So let's try to remove the bezel. And there we go. You click underneath and be a little careful not to scratch the watch too much. And then you just take it off. So now you have the bezel removed and you have the bezel insert. What you want to do now is get the bezel out of the bezel insert. Some people, if they don't want to actually keep the original bezel, they can just be a little brutal. It's very easy to just remove. But I want to try to be a little more gentle and actually keep the bezel and be very careful doing this. You want to get inside here and then just push out the bezel insert. It has adhesive inside of it, which we're also going to remove just a little later in this video. And again, be very careful if you want to keep the original bezel insert, because if you bend it too much, it will not be able to have any value later on. Now you can just remove it. Here you see. So you have this adhesive here you want to remove because on the aftermarket insert, you have adhesive. Five minutes later. Now I removed most of the adhesive. I just used a sponge, hot water and some dishwash. It comes very nicely off. You just don't want any lumps of adhesive inside of the bezel insert here. So you want to remove the paper on the backside here and then you want to fit it into the bezel. Here we are. And again, with every step you do, when you do as I do here, be very patient, be very careful. It is very easy if you turn it a few times, but if it's the first time, just be a little bit careful. So now you want to match the pip here at 12 o'clock with the loom pip at 12 o'clock on the bezel insert. Just be sure to really press it down so you're sure that the bezel insert is now glued to the bezel. And now for the last step before actually putting on a new strap, put it at 12 o'clock here. And all you want to do is just press down. So you heard the click. Now it's on. Just look at the new look on my Glycine Combat Sub. I think it looks 10 times cooler and everything just works. 
Excellent. Now I want to put on the new strap. Now the spring bars are off. I already have spring bars inside of this strap, which is 22 millimeters. 22 millimeter straps are what is going to fit a glycine combat sub. And here the complete package is. I think it looks great. It's almost like a completely new watch. Somehow I feel that this aged loom really fits the green bezel insert and the black strap also fits. If you want to make it really different and colorful, you can put on a white strap maybe. I, always, I also have this light blue or uh, green if you want a very military look. And these spring made, these are from a company called Spring Made Naso Straps. That would look really cool as well. And here my sort of new Glycine Combat Sub is on my wrist. I think it looks great. It's such a cool watch now and it's a really great upgrade to have this ceramic loomed bezel insert instead of the aluminium black one. So I'm very happy with the modification of this watch. I hope you could follow the steps and I hope you find this video interesting. If you find it interesting, please do subscribe to my channel. Please like this video and leave a comment down in the description. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you very soon again. Thank you. Bye.